All right, so we got no rest for the wicked official trailer. Let's get to the video. All right, so we have seen gameplay of the no rest, no rest for hey, the wicked. I'm Mala. I'm the creator Already. Of hey, I'm Gennady, and I'm a production and technical director, and both of us are the founders. I already said they're the founders. Okay, all right, listen, hear me out. This isn't bad. I already looked at the we gameplay. Are on a new project which is called No Rest for the Wicked. It's basically just my dream project, right? It's the action RPG that I always wanted to play and wanted to play for 20 years. Hey, now. this looks good, bro. One of the best combat systems on the market. We also want to completely change how exploration is done, right? That you're not just walking around on a randomly generated flat plane. Combine that with the multiplayer aspect. Combine that with all. Wait, this multiplayer? Quote, social Since when? Of, like building at the town and housing and farming and all of those things it's the kind of game that i always wanted to see uh, somebody making but because they didn't make it we are making it now hey bro i'm gonna be bro i love the imagery in this bro the big thing for us to tell people oh, is that oh, the more oh. you would look into no rest for the wicked uh, the more you would understand that what we're trying to do is kind of create our own mix so we will look at any particular genre and we would take the elements from this genre that we are excited about we put it all together into one game and then we iterate on it. So we okay. might take, you know, combat inspirations from the Soul series. I knew it. I told y'all. I told you. Combat, but also, I told y'all. Things that have uh, combos, things that have special moves, you know. And I told y'all, bro. It, and tune it in, the, in our own way. Then we look at things like I told y'all. You know, interconnected, multifaceted, dense level design that encourages retraversal and, and discovering the world. So it's really not really I, I like that climbing ability. I like that a lot. To, that climbing uh, ability. You necessarily follow. It's Ooh. just inspired by all of these different um, elements from all of these different games. We put it together and uh, try to grow it and make it into the most perfect version it can be. Look at those no waters. Rest for the Wicked is coming to early access on Steam on April 18th. A a a a a a Moon a, was it Moon Studios? A Moon Studios. I w I would really I would love to play this game. I would love to play this game. I told y'all. I listen. I told y'all. Whenever uh, we reacted to like the 14 minute like gameplay version of like this game, bro. I told y'all the way this like the, the first of all like we'll get to like the like how it looks whatever. Let's talk about the fighting, like the combat, bro. I told y'all this has like a soul's feel to it because if you guys don't know, a lot of like uh like bosses, I would say a lot of like bosses, whatever, bro. I'm trying to go to a boss real quick. A lot of bosses, bro, they would like repeat attacks. Does that make sense? Like they would like like I know a thing or two about Souls games. You know why? Because I died to a bunch of them. I died to a bunch of them. So like, bro, I've been like, like uh for example, let's say uh uh let's say uh uh um. I don't know, Lies of P, right? Bro, Lies of P, bro, I've been on a boss for like two hours. I've been on a boss for like an hour, bro. Just, just just going up against the same guy, bro. And you have to like, and at first, right, what you like, what you don't learn is like, if you're new to Souls games and what you don't learn is you kind of have to like, you have to like remember their attacks and remember like their, like their, uh, like, like their uh, combinations and, and their mannerisms. Like you have to remember that stuff. So like you would hit, hit, back up. So they could do like the little da 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 da, going for one hit back up. Cause like bro, it's not just the same thing. They will try to like switch it up on you. Like the CPU is crazy smart. So other than that, bro, I told y'all, bro, they got inspiration from a Souls game. Now looking at like the like like the um like the graphics and stuff right now, bro, I love how like a lot of this stuff because if you in the gameplay, it's like an overhead gameplay, and then. They show you this right here, and obviously this is for like you know, uh, like the like the trailer, and like it's probably gonna be for like the story mode, like whenever like the, like something's transitioned, it's like a like a cutscene or something like that, bro. Look at this, bro. This graphics is nice, bro. Whoever made this, bro, they deserve a five dollar raise. To be honest, like this is nice, bro. Honestly, and then like some of the bosses in this game, like I saw one of the bosses. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Like some of the bosses had like a had like a um like a souls like type of boss looking like because if you never played the souls games before all the bosses look weird like bro if you never played elder ring before bro all the bosses in every souls games look at, bro they look like bro you have like a souls like a souls boss bro like got like my type of head with like these type of arms with like with like uh with, with like a with like a centipede legs like bro it's weird like like the bosses look so weird so it's crazy so 
other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about No Rest for the Wicked? Um, a shout out to Moon Studios and who, whoever else helped them out or whatever. Maybe if they did, you know, they just did it by themselves. Shout out to them uh, because this is fire, bro. This is absolutely fire, bro. And honestly, I can't wait to, uh, you know, create my player because I'm going to make my player look like T-Pain or something. See you guys later for the next one. <laughs> See you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And peace.